Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Crypto Busy. My name is Tom and in today's video, I'm gonna go through some 1000X altcoins. We all want to find them, we all want to love them and we've done a lot of work behind the scenes to bring you guys these new projects that I think you're going to love. So with that all being said, leave a like on this video if you haven't already and you're new and you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Crypto Busy today. So, Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, so quick disclaimer before I jump into the video. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. And there's no guarantee that these coins will actually 1,000x. But from the research we've done behind the scenes, there is the potential and the ability to do so for 1,000x altcoins. Um, certainly in today's market, certainly what we've been seeing throughout this whole year. And I don't think we've seen the end of this whole bull cycle. I have been going on about this for quite some time. And I have been called Moon Boys before. We've been called many other names under the sun. And the, you know, the, the bears that were here early this year, certainly in May and June, and they called us you know, crazy, delusional, all that sort of stuff. We're going to go down to $10,000 for Bitcoin. Look at where we are right now. We're about to reach $50,000 for Bitcoin. Bitcoin is about to reach new all-time highs. And this will drag up the rest of the market and will provide more opportunities out there. These are certainly high-risk investments, 1,000x altcoins. You know, it's very rare to find an 1,000x investment these days, especially right now. So, you know, the risk versus reward is huge. So that's one big, uh, you know, one big disadvantage. Some people may you know, say advantage. Um, I certainly think that it can be an advantage if you do manage your risk in a better way. That's what I would say there. But, you know, if you look at what Bitcoin and Ethereum is, they're less risky uh, compared to what, you know, the 1000x altcoins can be. So I'm going to go through uh, five of them in today's video and also an extra project I want to bring you guys attention to. So the first project I'm going to go through in with you guys is DeFi Yield Protocol. It's currently trading at 32 and a half cent. It's ranked 1,265. And that's another thing as well, guys, is that there's 11,000 cryptocurrencies on the market. So not all of them will survive. Now, having a look at what DeFi Yield Protocol does, it's really interesting to see. And this is also another thing I'm going to go through in today's video. A lot of DeFi, a lot of NFTs. And certainly with these coins, they have been out in the market since the beginning of this year or sometime around there. And they have been affected by the ebbs and the flows of the market. And so what you've been seeing right now, this is the price action, what's happened in you know March to June. Um, certainly what's been happening you know, with Bitcoin going from $64,000 all the way down to $29,000, $28,000. This does affect the altcoins, um, you know, over and over again. And as I said in the beginning of this video, I think there is still the bull cycle that we're in. And I still think we haven't seen the end of this bull cycle. We haven't seen the top. And so that's why I feel there is certainly some advantages here and certainly some potential. I'm going to be going to some of these coins as well, because, again, we're looking at coins that have great teams, great projects and have the potential to be adopted even further. So DeFi Yield Protocol aims to change the way users earn through liquidity on Ethereum on smart contract. The argument against DeFi at the moment, and this is a huge thing, is that whales have the power to control the network. DeFi Yield Protocol prevents the whale advantage in DeFi, which is awesome. That's really good to see. And certainly if it's implemented properly and people widely adopt it, then this has the advantage, to, in my opinion, to 1000x. As you can see right now, it has a market cap of around $3.6 million. So if we do a quick uh, sum right here, $3.6 million times by 1,000, uh, that would be $3.6 billion. And me may be saying that's a lot of money. That's, a, you know, it's a hefty market cap. But if we look at the top 30, certainly the top 50, all of them are $3.6 billion. You can see here Maker, uh, Bitcoin, BEP2, all these sort of things, Shiba Inu. These have, you know, market caps that are $3.6 billion. So, or, or more than that. So it has the potential to, in my opinion, this is where I come from. So you may get some comments saying, well, is that possible? It is possible if we see the numbers in the crypto game. The next one to go through with you guys is uh, GamiFi. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. GamiFi platform or GamiFi platform. It's currently ranked at 1,750. Currently trading at $1.19 and has a market cap of under a million. This is rare in today's world. So 1,000 decks from here would be $860 million. And that is nothing in the crypto world. That is nothing. And so the fact that it's under a billion dollars from 1,000 decks from here, that's really interesting to see. Came out the market in April, again, has been affected by what's happened in the markets, but it does have the potential to go back to its all-time high. All of these important things to look into as well. So it's an esports and gaming ecosystem containing fantasy sports app, a prediction market, a lottery, uh, PVP games, and also an NFT marketplace, which again is a big thing in today's world. So again, 
bringing the two things together, kind of like with Engine Coin, bringing the gaming world and also blockchain together. That's going to be really cool. We're going to see some really cool stuff there as well. And then on top of that, the NFT marketplace, that's important. And that is huge for certainly um, this next wave of crypto that's certainly going to the fourth industrial revolution that is part of it. And so again, I'll leave this website linked down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail. You can see their roadmap and on top of that, their core features and much more to that as well. You can see their backers, um, many other interesting stuff here um, and much more to that as well. Their partners, uh, which is awesome to see. Um, so you can see here, you've got Cardia Chain, you've got Unifarm and many others as well. Elrond, these are big names in the game as well. So again, I'll leave that all linked down in the description below so you can check it out yourselves in much further detail. So the third coin I'm gonna go through in today's video is Muse, currently ranked at 707, currently trading at $44 and has a market cap of 22 and a half million. Um, so that's interesting to see that one there as well. Uh, so a thousand X from here would be a 22 billion, which again would be quite a large market cap for certainly this particular altcoin, but it certainly has the potential to grow in an exponential way and in an exponential amount. Now, right now, with, the, with this one so far, is that this one is currently in uh, the green, certainly from the beginning. Um, an all-time high of around, let's have a look here, of around sort of $117, so pretty much a 3x from where it is right now. Um, and I do think it has the ability to go back to its all-time high. So Muse is the government token of NFT20.io. Uh, NFT20 is a permissionless PPT uh, protocol to tokenize NFTs and make them tradable on a decentralized exchange. So... What does that actually mean? We've seen a lot of buzz in the market, in on, certainly on Twitter as well, about NFTs and where they can go. People buying NFTs for a couple of hundred dollars a few months ago, maybe even a year ago, and selling them for millions and millions of, of dollars today. So, you know, how can you actually trade them? Can you actually liquidate them? This is where we can bring those two together. And I think this will bring you know, certainly an, a competitive edge in the crypto world, in the NFT world as well. So NFT liquidity protocol, you can deposit your NFT and you can trade it for Ethereum, which is really cool to see. You can connect your MetaMask or your Wallet Connect, um, which is also really cool. And you can swap them um, for NFT 20 protocols and you can see the documentation. Um, so again, this website's really cool. I'll leave the links down in the description below so you can check it out for yourselves in much further detail there. Okay, so I also bring your attention to BitDAO, which is gonna be taking place on the Miso Exchange on the 16th of August at 1 p.m. Now, if you don't know what BitDAO is, BitDAO is excited to collaborate with Miso and they have about $75 million worth of crypto in their treasury. And this crypto consists of Ethereum, DeFi tokens, NFTs, and much more. And as the market matures, understandably, these tokens and these uh, projects will grow in value as well. Um, it's backed by big people in the game. So Peter Thiel, Founders Fund, Pantera, Dragonfly, much more as well. Also Bybit, which also we work with as well. We have our links down in the description below. Bybit is a leading crypto exchange and early supporter of BitDAO, and it has pledged a recurring contribution to the BitDAO treasury, uh, which are 2021 rates to exceed $1 billion a year. Um, so it works into amounts sort of their, their trading volume every single day. They'll put in a certain amount into BitDAO. And so that works because every single person is trading on this market and everyone's looking into what's happening to it. And so therefore there is a continuous amount of uh, capital flowing into BitDAO. So it aims to partner with projects via token swaps and co-development efforts. Uh, token swaps will be enable BitDAO treasury to accumulate a collection of the top crypto tokens and also to build core projects to enable BitDAO and other DAOs uh, to function more effectively and provide grants to teams to produce research or products that uh, are public goods for the crypto industry. So we're looking for projects that, you know, again, provide that public good and provide that overall good in the markets. There are a lot of sharks in the game. So the fact that they have a good cause behind this is really cool to see. Um, so the details here, again, I'll be leave it all links down in the description below. They have a starting price of about $2 and you participate in either Ethereum or Sushi. Um, you can see their bit token that's their, I believe that there's their contract address there and uh, much more there as well so they have some airdrops so around sort of 40 percent there as well and really some cool stuff to be happening with themselves so that is bit doubt again leave all links down in the description below it's happening on the 16th of august at 1 p.m on the sushi miso exchange so the fourth altcoin that i want to go through with you guys in today's video that has the potential to a thousand x is a coin called player it's currently trading at Lots of zeros followed by 7.5 there. It's uh, very, very low in price. It has a market cap of around sort of 1.9, nearly $2 million. Um, a fully diluted market cap of around $7.5 million. Um, and you can see here, circulating supply of around sort of 25 uh, billion player. Um, it <laughs> sounds quite interesting when you say it. Um, and again, it did also come out early this year, affected by the market in that sense. 
Player is a player platform. So it's a platform where you know, people can uh, create content and also participate in the content and be rewarded for that. So again, bringing a platform sort of like YouTube into the crypto world and you can get some really cool and interesting stuff from that if you have you know tokens you can tokenize watching videos or creating content and having social interaction with the community that you're in and it's also interesting to see and really fun to see that there's tournaments they have a strategic partner which is vchain and you know you guys know we go on about vchain all the time um, so the fact that it also has a strategic partner, um, which is VeChain, which is really cool to see. And so I think if it does have the ability to implement what they need to implement and have that adoption, and this is the key word for most of these projects here in today's video, is the adoption will drive the price and further interaction with that as well will drive the price. So that's important. These are the hurdles for the projects. But if all of that can be done and they can succeed in that sense, then these projects do have the ability to a thousand decks. So the fourth one is player. And so the final project I'm gonna go through with you guys that has the ability to 1000X is Nifty X Protocol, currently trading at 19 cent, a market cap of around $10 million. And as you can probably guess by the name, it is in the NFT space. NFTs and DeFi certainly have the space in the next draft revolution, in certainly the next wave of crypto. And I do think there'll be multi, multi billion dollar a year industries for NFTs and also DeFi um, you know, individually, which is also really important because this is the next stage for crypto at the end of the day. NiftyX is building a decentralized protocol for NFT trading and minting. The project is building the infrastructure required to easily deploy and connect niche-focused global NFT markets, ensuring a neutral playing field for creators, users, and private firms. A big thing in today's world are the fees. Certainly when you trade your NFTs or you sell your NFT, you know, the, the fees on the exchange or the marketplace that you may use it on is massive and you know it can take a massive cut of what your profit may be and so certainly bringing what nifty x is doing and many other things as well to the marketplace this is the next thing for it and so it's been featured in yahoo finance and uh, also delphi digital uh, coindesk and much more so i'll leave it linked down in the description below so you can check out yourselves in much further detail but that's the final one in today's video guys nifty x so that is nifty x player muse gamify or gamify however you like to pronounce it and also DeFi yield protocol let me know what you think down in the comments below whether you agree with me whether you disagree with me all comments are welcome in today's video in all of our videos all comments are welcome uh, all feedback is welcome as well um, you know we're in our new studio in our new office and we've got some new microphones we're trying to figure out how to actually use them properly uh, i'll just show you just really quickly you can see here right now that these are the sort of mic with like an xlr connection so if anybody knows um about microphones and how to connect them properly we've got uh one of these machines here and i think you can actually uh put them in properly but again very sensitive stuff so we're just currently still using um these microphones here uh, so any help would be really helpful um and yeah we're very much looking forward to um you know providing the content and providing the value for you guys and so um yeah we're very much looking forward to the content that we're going to be making for you guys in the future as well so if you like what we're doing in today's video, leave a like if you're new and you want to see more content like this, also be sure to subscribe to Crypt Busy today. So that's it for me in today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.